I never want to cry. I, ne I never want to show them that you, are you broke my heart. But I want to make the government cry to understand that this is 21st century. And what we want, women in Iran and Saudi Arabia, we want to have dignity. We want to have freedom of choice. We are not criminals. We are human beings. And we want the rest of the world to understand that. Fighting for our dignity, we have to pay this price. And don't keep silent when you go to my beautiful country, when you hear women in Saudi Arabia and in Iran being harassed, their family being harassed. Don't keep silent. I don't want you to cry for us. I don't want you to come and save us. But understand that when people are paying price, do not patronize their cries by saying that this is a small issue. Because we are not fighting for a small piece of cloth. We are fighting for our identity, for our dignity. When women go to my country, the female politicians who wear hijab, and they say, this is your culture, we want to respect your culture, they're insulting a nation. Hmm. Even I had admiration for the New Zealand Prime Minister to show their, her solidarity with Muslim women. I wanted to hug her. But by wearing hijab, you have to be smart and understand that this is not just a small piece of cloth. This, when this is in the hand of the Muslim, the extremists, in the hand of the Islamic government, in the hand of Saudi Arabia, or those who oppress us, then this is not just a small piece of cloth. This is the most visible symbol of oppression. You have to understand that when Muslim women fighting against compulsory hijab, do not see this as a sign of being a Muslim woman. I want to show you why I cannot oh. keep silent. Yeah, look, go ahead. Look, in Iran, women are doing this. I brought my stick to show you that. Women are doing this. One of the women who put the headscarf on a stick and waved it like that. You know what happened to her? She got disappeared. We don't know what happened to her. We don't know where she is. Nobody know where Vida Mavahid is. 29 people repeated her protest. We don't know what happened to them. Yesterday, they arrested 23-year-old girl Yasaman Aryani. Her mother ran after her. They arrested her mother as well. We don't know what happened to her. What I want you, what actually Oprah said here in the same stage last night. She said, if you want to save the planet, first save yourself. Female politicians, feminists, if you want to save the planet, first save yourself. When you go to Iran, stand up for your own dignity. Do not obey compulsory hijab laws. Don't say that this is a law, you have to respect the law, because slavery used to be legal.